We're now on the diversion loop on the way back down to the Malakoff. Obviously, I've got to do the video going back down the diversion, which is via car and Ellis Road. There's, yeah, going down this nice car and Road. Here we are, pulling through. down past Air Park and the Rugby Club on the way back. So here it is, Alexander Road, just over there. We're now coming down here, which is a nice change to the B9 route. Just the whole point of me doing downtown and back up again, which is nice. Done it both ways. Nice driver letting those cars come up here. There we go. Nice flash pulling off the spot. Good to know we've got a flash going on here. We've got our nice leather seats, just for us to know. Comfy leather seats, actually, as well. This bus is comfy. A nice little bit to lean on here. Well, that's what I like to lean on when I'm riding. Makes me feel comfy. Put my arm there, just over the rail. So I'm chilling. And we're sitting, watch life go by. Love doing this sometimes for an hour or two, because it just makes you feel like you're... Yeah, getting all the fresh air you need, seeing some scenery, and obviously going on a bus, which is my purpose for doing these sort of things. Personally, bus travel is one thing that I don't mind doing. As long as it's not on Go Cornwall Buses Service 11 from Padso to Plymouth, which always gets me stuck or delayed. I love buses, otherwise. Here, yeah, that's Traverban Road. Here we're going down Bullens Lane Hill, which you won't see very often on an open top. There is the bottom of Trelawney Avenue, or whatever that is. That road's called something else, I can't remember. And here we are, yep. Pulling on past the Stenac Surgery, which is on the left-hand side. Up there you've got Tremworth Car Park, where the Route 2 goes in the summer. There's the where the road's closed for our bus, we don't go up there now for a little while, which is lovely. Here we are, past the surgery, down through town. Oh, this is a lovely route. And we are current, we're going to be stopping in the middle of town to pick up some people. As this is the B9 from Penzance to Land's End, Land's End, St. Ice, to Penzance. So if we're talking num letters like we used to, A1, A3, then A2. So now we're on the A3 if you want to talk old facts. There's cinema, co-ops there. There's people here waiting for the B9. Lots of people getting off in St. Ice. I think I'm now the only person upstairs on the bus, I certainly am. Uh, for us to get a new group of people, perhaps getting on the bus. So there certainly is one extra person getting on our bus. So here we are, just waiting to pull off the spot. Boy, I love, bu I love open tops. And one thing you'll find with me, like you saw earlier, which because I'm going to upload the one on the way up first, I have walls. My rule is I always sit upstairs on the open top. I don't sit downstairs. If I sit downstairs, I'm breaking the rules. That is a rule I made years ago, and I've always stuck to it. That's why I always come soaking wet off the top of the open top. Because I have to sit upstairs by my laws. Here I am. Revving off the spot on this B9. Going past the, yeah, the fish and chip and the shopping arcade, the lamb and kettle, or no, the kettle and wink, whatever it's called, and where the spoons is just here, Hame Line, St. Ives Weather Spoons. I've heard good things about St. Ives Weather Spoons. I do like St. Ives Weather Spoons for most of its food. In all its glory, Weather Spoons may be plain and simple, but it's actually nice and cheap, and you get what you pay for in there as they put their drink prices down as well, or they're planning to. There's the, 80, there's the A1 cabs. 
You've got the dog grooming shop, the coffee guests, you've got San Cornwall, you've got a bit of a surf and lifestyle shop, you've got up here you've got housing housing shops like Millicent's and Cross Estate and Polly Ann's haircutting place. I had my hair cut in there once when I was younger. It wasn't too bad a shop, but I know where to stick to in Truro. I like the hair cutting place, Barbaria, so we'll stick to that. Here's the bus station where we're going to pull into, as the Land's End Coaster always pulls into the bus station, which is my favourite part about the Land's End Coaster. It's one thing I can vouch for is we park in here. One thing I'm going to point out is he shouldn't be standing there. This is a bus station for buses only, so he could get told off for that. There's a man wheeling us back. Here we are, wheeling back. Here we are, wheeling backwards on this open top. Into St. Ives Malakoff. And now there's, there's him getting told off for that. There's the pests of the city, of the towns, the seagulls. And here we go, guys. This is the end of my video of the bean on. Bye.